Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy, glorious afternoon nature to you all. It's another glorious day that the Lord has made, and I'm here to encourage us again with the word of God, which I titled uh, Love, even if it ought. Part three. We had the part three, the last part of it. Uh, love, even if it ought. Uh, hallelujah. You know, when you are rated in the Lord, uh, you no longer do things to please you, do whatever pleases the Lord. Uh, and when you are rooted in the Lord, uh, He Himself uh, will give you the grace to overcome whatever situation you might pass through. Now, uh, for you to love, even if it hurts, uh, you need grace, uh, not just normal grace, uh, the grace that will carry you, carry you in the wings and fly you above every situation. Uh, Hallelujah. The grace that will make you not know to sin, the altar, you need the grace. And for you to have that kind of grace, you need to have the mindset of Christ. Because such grace, every one of us, we have different grace. But the grace to make you love, even when it hurts, is a grace that will carry you now above what you see now above what you feel uh, and for you to have such grace uh, you need uh, to have the mindset of christ uh, and for you to have that kind of mindset uh, of christ uh, you need to die to save uh, hallelujah you cannot have uh, the mindset of christ uh, if you have not died to self uh, and you cannot have uh, the grace uh, that will make you to love uh, even if it hurts uh, loving is a beautiful thing uh, why are people still loving uh, even if they know that love hurts uh, why are people still loving uh, because love is a beautiful thing uh, an experience that everyone wants to have uh, and even when they know that it's hurts if i love it it hurts me uh, we keep loving her. Uh, so for you to love her uh, and keep loving her, uh, even if it hurts, uh, you need a grace. Uh, hallelujah. Let's pray. Everlasting Father, I thank you for this wonderful moment again, O oh God. Uh, I thank you, Lord, for the revelation of your word, O oh God, as your word comes forth again. I pray, King of glory, that it speaks to everyone that is listening to the sound of my voice. Uh, give them a listening ear to, re to hear your word. Uh, give them a receiving heart to receive your word. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, may this word fulfill the purpose uh, that you have sent it. Uh, and at the end of it, O oh Lord, uh, your name will be glorified. Uh, in Jesus' glorious name, I have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I am in the last part of love, even if it also. You cannot understand it until you start from the beginning. This is a part three. Unless you start from part one, you cannot understand it. Hallelujah. Last week, I stopped at telling us about Jesus, uh, the love that made Jesus to go to the cross. Uh, and if we go down again in the book of Acts, uh, in the book of Acts chapter 7, we'll see another story similar to the one of Jesus, uh, the story of Stephen. Uh, when they were stoning him to death, uh, when they were killing him, uh, he had the heart of saying, uh, Lord, forgive them. Uh, this cannot be uh, if you don't have the grace of loving. Uh, even when he was dying uh, and he knows that he was dying, uh, you see, have the love and say, love, uh, Lord, uh, forgive them uh, because they don't know what they are doing. Uh, this can just be love. Uh, and for us to have such love, uh, love, people are hurting you. People are haughty, you keep loving them. Uh, the love that is not self-centered. Uh, the love that is not if you do for me, I do for you. Now uh, it is the love, it is a selfish love. Uh, it is when you are not died to save, you are still having the selfish love. Okay, because he did not do for me, I'm not going to do for him. Ah, uh, uh, because I love him, he hurts me, and I am not going to do it again. No, if you die to save, uh, if you are now Christ. Uh, to live in you now nah, then you die to save nah. that is the only way now nah, you can see people nah, above the mistake that they are doing up to today after the death of jesus nah, people that nah, listen the bible told us that jesus did not come to die for the righteous 
If he has come to die for the righteous, it could have been a different case entirely. No, he did not come to die for the saints. Uh, he did not come to die for the righteous one. He died, he come to die for the world, uh, the sinful world that we are living today. And today we are before every one of us become a believer. Now uh, we have hurt Christ in so many ways. Uh, we have hurt God, uh, but he keeps loving us. Uh, and that kind of love he wants us to now. Uh, and we to have that kind of a love, uh, we have that we need a grace uh, that will carry us uh, above our thinking, uh, the grace to carry us uh, above our what we are seeing, uh, the grace to carry us uh, above what people are doing or saying, uh, and that grace uh, is a grace of having the mindset uh, of Christ, uh, the mindset of Christ that will take you far. Now, it is not the Bible told us that we should not love uh, by ways, uh, but by mouth. Uh, let's go to First Corinthians. Let's start from the book of uh, first, sorry, First Peter. And I think I read First Corinthians last week. Uh, Let's see the first, the, the first, uh, first Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Uh, first Peter 4, 8. Uh, what did he to tell us? Uh, first Peter 4, 8 says, uh, He said, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Uh, this is the kind of love that God is telling about. about, about. What is a multitude of sin? Uh, the love that is not seeing the sin, the what they are doing to you, love uh, that cover those sins. Uh, the love that this place is talking about is not a selfish love. Uh, it's not a love that sees you above all that. It's not a love that is about you. Listen, uh, when you have Christ my said, uh, it is no longer about you. You see others above your Yourself. You see others uh, face before you now. And when you have this kind of mindset, uh, and when people hurt you, the first thing you think about then, uh, what will I do now to make them okay now? It is not about what they do to make you sad uh, because the mindset that is in you has changed uh, and is a mindset of God. Uh, the book of First Corinthians 13 4 to 8 uh, told us about this love, uh, the love that is patient with others, that is not easily angry now uh, hallelujah now uh, because i love you you're taking it for granted uh, okay i'll do your own me i do you my own no that is not the kind of love that god is expecting us to to love uh, the lover uh, if we are able to have this kind of love uh, it's a beautiful thing to love uh, it's a beautiful thing ask me who one who was searching for this love for years uh, I passed through a lot uh, because I was searching for love. Uh, I thought that no one has ever loved me. Uh, I know what love is uh, when I met Christ. Uh, and he taught me uh, how to love. Uh, he said, taught me to love. Uh, evil when it ought. Uh, that is where the message come. Uh, I don't know what love is all about. And when I started experiencing things, experiencing what love is all about, I begin to enjoy life. Oh, if you don't know love, if you don't have love, uh, there is no way you can enjoy life. Because everything you think about is hate, uh, uh, unforgiveness, uh, heaviness, uh, and just name it. Uh, everything about love is beautiful. Uh, everything about love is positive. Uh, everything about love uh, is something that gives you joy uh, and that side it, uh, it uh, there is no life uh, because if you don't know how to love uh, first you have to know what love is all about uh, and if you don't know you will suffer it uh, because everything you see now, uh, you can think that it is against you now. Uh, everything you you held, uh, you think is against you. You can hate the world. Uh, ask me to have BH, uh, BHD for hating uh, others wide. Uh, and I know what I'm talking about. So when you begin to love, uh, you begin to see life uh, in a different dimension. Uh, and when you begin to see life in a different dimension, uh, and you begin to enjoy life. Uh, when you begin to enjoy life, uh, in the in, in his fullness uh, you will not allow what people do now uh, to stop you from having that enjoyment and that is what i said from the beginning it takes the grace uh, for you to see the beauty uh, of the things that god has created uh, the love that you have uh, will make you begin to enjoy this beauty now uh, and if you are enjoying the beauty of those things because of the love uh, and no matter what people do to you no matter the hearts you receive uh, and you 
see the love of God uh, above those things. Uh, you see the, the sacrifice that Christ uh, made for you to be whom you are today. Now, uh, and you begin to see the love of God uh, above the hearts uh, that they are hurting you. And it's what it worth it uh, because when you see what Christ uh, did uh, and you see those things as nothing, and that is what I say. It is the grace. Let's see again the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. Colossians 3, 13. There are a lot of Bible verses we are going to read. But because I want to conclude this today, we just take a few of it and uh, we end it for today. Uh, the time also. Colossians chapter 3, verse 13. Hallelujah. 13 says, It said, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has grievance against someone, Forgive as the Lord forgive you. Hallelujah. And if you are not having the love that sit behind, you cannot forgive. That is why people today, they are suffering uh, unforgiveness. Uh, they are suffering to forgive. They have it. They, it is the biggest problem that they are facing. They are unable to forgive. Uh, why? Because they are unable to pass uh, that grade of loving. Uh, they, are, they still remain in that cage uh, of not loving. And when they are not loving, they see everything. On, on, on the if you're not seeing things that is beautiful, it's opposite that. Uh. So they begin to see things that is not beautiful. They begin to see everything negative. Uh. And when they see negative, everything negative, uh, they find it difficult to forgive. Uh. You cannot forgive if you don't love. Uh. How are you going to do that? Uh? It takes love to forgive. Uh. It takes grace to love. Uh. And if you don't have this, uh, it will be difficult for you to love. Uh. Let's see the book of Psalm 103. Psalm 103, verse 10 to level. I am not rushing it because time is just too on our side. Hallelujah. Psalm 103, verse 10 to level says that. He said, He will not always accuse you. Verse 10 to level, sorry, not 9. He said, He does not treat us our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquity. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. Hallelujah. Christ did not treat us uh, the way, uh, the, he did not treat us in our own sins the way we deserve uh, or the way we need to be repaid. Uh, if Christ could have paid us uh, back with the way we, 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 we deserve, no one will be living today. But Christ pay all his love for us uh, increase every day. Now, how, that is why now, if we have to look at the beauty, the beautiness of the, 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 the beauty of what God has did for you, and then what is it for you not to love, uh, even if it ought you now. And the questions I keep asking us this, uh, does it work it? Uh, because you cannot forgive that altar and you're dying a sin. Does it worth it? Because love is beautiful to share and love it with it is a wonderful thing to experience. Uh, so you need to choose life. Uh, love is life. Uh, without love, there is no life. Uh, without love, you die in the cage. Uh, without love, you die in the angle. The way you choose la love. Uh, it's a choice, like I said the other day. Now, last week I said loving is a choice. Uh, when you choose love, uh, you're choosing life. Uh, and when you choose life, uh, whatever hurt that comes after, it does not matter. Because you're taking your decision, which is forward never, forward ever, and backward never. And when many of us we we use this statement very much, very much, uh, but we don't really understand the context. Uh, when you say forward ever, backward never, there are a lot that goes with it. Uh, when you decide to choose life uh, and love, uh, you decide to go forward. No matter what anyone do to draw you back, uh, no matter how they are, they hurt. Uh, and if you look at it, uh, it is those that loves you. That hurts you. Have you cared to sit down and ask, how come those who love you hurt you? Who betrayed Jesus? Uh, one of the disciples uh, who said Joseph, uh, his whole brother. If we really sit down and look at those people that make us to share hot tears are those who are more closer to you. Why? Because the devil wants to draw you back. There's a saying in my language, we not feel boy or feel more. 
again you bossy man someone that dig his hand in, in the red oil will not stain us with that hand so whenever you allow that the devil to draw you bad you allow the the, the heart the what people did to you to make you stop loving that it is drawing you back that cannot be forward there forward ever backward never you know, it's not enough for you to say for backward never because automatically you're going backward. Then it's a decision that you need to make. I will never go back, no matter what hurt they hurt me, no matter what people did to me. Now I will not allow them to draw me back. I've taken the decision that the pain hurts more when we are looking at ourselves. Because when you are looking at yourself, you see what they hurt me. Me, me, and me, and me, and I. When you are, when you are looking at me and I, the pain begins to hurt more. But by the time you are able to remove your eyes from the me, from the eye, and focus it on Jesus, he will give you the grace to come out of it and keep loving. And he will heal the wound that and make you love more than before many people stop loving today because of the hurt they they they, they, they experience listen if you stop loving because of what you experience do you know that you're harming yourself you're hurting yourself you know why ask me i will tell you why because you're the one that is suffering it yes you're suffering it most because when you stop loving you're in bondage you're not free you're not enjoying the freedom as you ought to. You're not enjoying the beauty of what God has created. You're not enjoying life at it or as, it, as you ought to. So you're the one suffering it. So all you need to do is ask for the grace to be healed and go on and keep loving. It's a beautiful thing that we all, we need to experience. And don't let the hurt that come from a brother, a sister, anyone that is close to you. To stop you from loving her because God has given us the grace uh, and the grace is to carry us to fly us uh, above uh, what people are doing uh. let nothing rob you of that blessing let nothing rob you of enjoying life at its most uh, because if you do not they suffering it uh, you are the one suffering it hallelujah for you to love remember you need to die to yourself if not that grace of loving, even when it hurts, when you even when it hurts, it can never be there because you keep on seeing the what they did yesterday. You keep on seeing what the hurt, how they hurt you day before yesterday. You keep seeing how they hurt you two years ago, ten years ago, fifteen years ago, and we begin to name them before you finish naming them. They fight, don't fool. And there is no space for a new thing to come in. I mean, the Lord give us the grace uh, to keep loving. Even if it was listen, it's not an easy task to do. It's not an easy thing to do. But remember, it is not about you. Focus on him that is able to carry us through. His grace will be sufficient for us. Uh, then look at the grace uh, that will take you above those things. Uh, and not on your power, but on him. And he will see you through. Ask for the grace uh, and it will be released to you. May the Lord bless his word into our heart in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And a glorious day. Amen.